Well, that was a mucky, miserable hike and evening, but at least we were in our tent and Jerry did not leak. It was lovely inside. I mean, all things being said, look at this setting. I mean, it's magical. It's just wet <laughs> and stinky. Not too cold today, though. <laughs> Welcome back to day one thir 144. Sounds good. I'm Captain. I'm Sunshine. And we're still walking. And we're still talking. E we are going, I don't know how long we're going to go today, either between 10 and 14 miles. It depends if it starts raining. If it gets cold, it gets dark. We'll reevaluate. We're going from stealth site um, mile 1828 to we don't know where we're hitting the mountains we're going to tackle today are going to be. First up is Mount Lafayette, which is 2.4 miles ahead in a massive climb. Then Garfield, Garfield, and then South Twin Mountain. And if we're lucky, um, Guyot, Mount Guyot. Mount Guyot. Um, How did you sleep last night? I slept pretty well. I slept pretty well, too. I was really just beat when we went to bed and it rained it rained a lot last night um but today there is very little rain in the forecast and it's after 5 p.m we're getting kind of a late start it's 8 um about 8 15 i don't know what the temperature is because it's kind of buried under my belt here and when it's like that it's not accurate but it's supposed to be i think a high of 60 today high of 67 high at, of the, 60 top at the top of the mountains so that's pretty warm compared to yesterday um everything is kind of pretty much wet with us and we're just kind of hanging out on our bag and we've accepted it we've accepted it we smell we haven't brushed our teeth because we don't have toothpaste and he doesn't have a toothbrush so we are thoroughly and utterly disgusting Right, I was just saying, well, I guess there's no more trail magic for a while. Mm -hmm. And Stallion, who was an uh, alumni from last year, yep, last year, says, I've got trail magic. He's got good stuff in there too. Candy and, and adult stuff and all kinds of fun stuff. Yay, thank you. Not much of you up here. Captain, what do you think of that view? Such a view. <laughs> All right, you want to proceed? Oh my goodness, the whites, the whites, the whites, the whites of New Hampshire. Mind blowing, stunning, marvelous, riveting. Oh, I, I can't, I'm just beside myself. I love them. They're hard. They're sometimes cold. They're rainy at bits. They're majestic. They're, <laughs> I can't imagine. So moving. Look at this. Look at this. Unfreaking believable. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh.
this is the most picturesque. Unbelievable. On the entire trip. We are on Mount Lafayette. Check that box and look at our view. Now we got a pretty steep down and we're headed for Mount Garfield. Next up. All right, gear gab time. I can't get a good shot of it with all the, the pack stuff and whatnot, but I don't need a good shot of it because I don't like it. Um, it is Lululemon, no, it's Athleta, um, which I really love their products. Um, and it's a great fleece. It's just not meant for a through hike. Uh, I didn't pay a lot of money for it. I think I got it on sale. I was tired of spending a lot of money and it was, I'm gonna make it through this hike with it, but I won't be using it on future hikes. I'll just kind of wear it around the house or something. It is, um, it's bulky, it's not form fitted and it's heavy. So when I'm not wearing it, it's more weight in my pack. And when I am wearing it and have my puffy on, it's just too bulky and I have too much stuff in the way of what I'm carrying. It also doesn't have any type of a, a string around the hood. So I can't even tie it tight and air gets in. Um, so I'm, I'm, I love Athleta stuff, um, or Athleta, however you want to pronounce it, but I just don't like this fleece for the purpose of a through hike. Nothing. A mouse just came right, so I felt something like on my leg over here and I look over and there is a mouse and he's huge. It was not a rat, but he was like the size of a rat. Holy shit, that's only the second mouse I've seen on the trail, but he was right next door to me. That's why I don't sleep in the shelters because that's where the mice live and out here. I'm glad you think it's funny. <laughs> I screamed super loud. I'm surprised people didn't come over here and be like, are you okay? Oh gosh, Jesus, I shouldn't be sitting so close to the woods here. I should sit in the middle of the trail. Who cares if it's rude? Turn it around, Arthur, you're turning around. Okay. Welcome to the end of day 144, as we have aptly just shown you. <laughs> Today we went a whopping 8.8 .8 miles. I say whopping, it wasn't okay. that much, but it was a great view of a great day. I thought it was, okay, so first of all, we went from stealth site mile marker 1828 to stealth site mile marker 1837, 8.8 .8 miles. Um, I thought it was an amazing day. We didn't, we didn't kill ourselves like, oh my God, we gotta hurry, get the miles. We just enjoyed the view. We, it's because it's Labor Day weekend. We talked to a ton of people hiking. We talked to rangers. We just talked to a lot of people and just like heard their stories. And we weekend hikers, day hikers. People, we talked to a couple of people that were running this, which is absolutely insane. Right, the, the MIT grad students. Then we talked to a really nice family from Winchester, Massachusetts for a while on the hike. And then we talked to some of our, our through hiker buddies. I mean, we just did a lot of talking with people today and we didn't, we tried not to worry about, oh my God, we get the miles. It was a beautiful day. It was a great hiking day. There was some hard terrain, some easy terrain. And it just, we just kind of like were in a space and tried not to be like through hikers with a mission and just tried to be enjoying it. Like yeah. as like just a weekend hiker would, you know? Not that we're not enjoying it, but we always have to think about the mileage and the this and the that. And it was, it was just nice to be kind of free today. Right. Um, did you have a best spot? Um, the views were the best part. The worst part, I didn't really have a worst part. Nothing was. I definitely part. had a worst part. And what was that? Mr. Mouse. Mickey? Mm, no, he's not as cute as Mickey. That mouse who came after my food, not once, but twice when I was trying to take a break and made me scream. Uh, best part was definitely the views. Talking to all the people we talked to, nice people we met today, and the views. The views are just mind-blowing you guys can see it in the video we didn't shoot much pretty much after like one-ish i think because we were talking and visiting with people and looking at the views and we just didn't we just didn't feel like being on camera that much today so i hope you understand why 
we will see you guys tomorrow with your dash. See you in the next one. Bye. Help, guys. <laughs> Tree's falling. Tree's falling. Pull it back, Lyra. Pull it back. <laughs> Day 144. We forgot to do it this morning, so now we're doing it with our fingers. <laughs> move your one over. Ready? The move. Camera's moving. Move your because Lugga's breathing. So Kevin's breathing. So 144. Dad's gonna think we've gone bonkers when he's doing this. <laughs>